All right, so now we're on the 2023 FX LRST. This is my first time test riding this bike, and it seems like it's in gear. Yeah, it was in gear, it wasn't in neutral, but uh, it is starting to rain. Uh, I'm the only guy here test riding these bikes, of course. Man, this feels odd as well. Uh, are these risers a little bit shorter? Something's changed. It feels like uh, like they've they've changed something here. I don't know if if the handlebars are, are at the right angle uh, on on the uh, on the bike. It feels different. I think it's the handlebars. I believe they're tilted towards the rider. They're not. They don't. They don't appear to be the moto. The moto bars from uh, from the lowrider S from uh, 2022. But this has the 117. This has the 117. Uh, you know, like I said, this is the first time I've ridden this. Last year, when I got the uh, when I got to the demo event, they didn't have uh, they didn't have this at the time. Of course, they were doing a uh, they were doing a uh, a reveal of the uh, of the FX LRST. You know, just several uh, several weeks after. So I test rode these bikes. And what was it, man? Can, what can I remember? I don't know, but it was maybe about a month or two after I got the uh, I got the uh, the test rides in for the 2022s. That's when they announced the uh, the Lowrider ST, and it was a bummer. I wish I had gotten the chance to uh, to test ride this new fairing from Harley. So let's go ahead and start you know start our our demo ride because it is starting to pour. Uh, some of the folks at the dealership were mentioning hey it's starting to rain and uh i don't i just don't know if harley wants these bikes out of course I'm, you know i i have have years of riding i've ridden in you know worse conditions than this but of course these are you know these are twenty thousand thirty thousand dollar bikes but uh man same thing with the air breather look at that difference from last year now this was something that i noticed in the facebook group a lot of people were, were complaining about a lot of people were complaining about uh the air breather of course rubbing up against your shin in 2022 and i made that comment of course with the uh with the road glide st and the uh which one i i, I believe i just wrote a, another one anyways i had the 117 oh the uh the lowrider s so i made that comment where my shin was just hitting the, uh, the air breather the whole time so Harley definitely did something Harley definitely did something different they did something new as far as you know the placement of the air breather and it's starting to kind of drizzle a little bit more this might be my last test ride for today I don't know if they're gonna let me or allow me to keep on test riding bikes but uh, anyways the triangle you have the uh, the Ford mids on this comfortable bike overall the seats nice and comfy as well and uh, my foot placement my my feet I can flat foot the bike of course you do have a higher suspension in this compared to uh, the 2021s and the 2020s uh, I believe they have the heritage shock in this so you have slightly better suspension and then of course you have all the other perks of a uh, of a lowrider s you have the the dual disc brakes the inverted forks and you'll also have cruise control in this they they had this in in 2021 of course this isn't something new the cruise control was standard uh with the lowrider st and you also have abs that's you know as far as i know let me wipe some of this moisture this as far as i know uh the lowrider ST is the only soft tail in the United States that has ABS standard. They, you know, they removed that off of the Fat Bob. They removed that off of the Lowrider S in 2021, 2022. That, you know, that that's that's no longer standard. But uh, unfortunately, I can't, you know, I can't really test ride the uh, the 117 with, uh, you know, the person in front of me. But of course, the suspension feels great. We have the inverted forks, like I mentioned and the, the you know the better monoshock on the rear the overall 
you know, placement of the rider. I'm more of an upright. I, I believe I'm slightly forward only because the risers, they appear to be, you know, shorter. And then of course, I believe the, uh, the moto, the moto, uh, the, the handlebars, it, it is changed. It's not uh, like upwards, kind of like on my bike. Uh, they they appear to be the low the mid bend. I, I think they're still mid bend So this is from here to here is about two and a half inches. So they're still mid bend bars moto style bars, but So it's off and on again the rain just stopped i'm hoping it holds up like this and the folks at the D at the dumb event are okay with me riding but a lot of imperfections here on this road of course you guys can see it's not it's not ideal but uh the uh the lowrider st is handling it just fine it's you know it's it's handling a little bit better than the uh than the road king but of course the road king you know it's got like 200 pounds on it but uh overall i believe this is like the the best deal from harley right now if you're in the market and you're looking at you know buying yourself a, a soft tail with wind protection and cargo space of course you have the uh the sport glide saddlebags on this man you can't go wrong with the lowrider with the lowrider st this is by far the best the best uh you know budget price wise bang for your buck from harley this is it you get the 117 you get the, the improved suspension and you also have the improved uh, stopping power with the dual disc brakes on the on the lowrider st and the fairings you know the fairings handling pretty much well uh nothing you know nothing to complain about but uh i am impressed with the uh with the wind protection so let's go ahead and start opening her up right here let's see if this handles a little bit better than the road king as far as uh, wind buffeting. fun that was fun the handling on this bike is amazing even at high speeds this bike handles amazing it's a 28 degree rake on this thing of course then you have all the man everything about this bike is just amazing i'm surprised how how like this this frame was able to keep the wind off of my knees and i don't know if it's just these little deflectors that uh that, that it has down here i mean is that what it is it's just I was I wasn't feeling a lot of wind on my knees at all. Oh man, this bike is just it's amazing. It's, it's an amazing looking bike. Like I mentioned, the, the frame mounted fairing. I was getting a little bit of wind buffeting at about um, at about 80. But you know what? After you know, considering that I have my my GoPro over here, th that could be the reason why I'm getting wind buffeting. It's probably because of the wind hitting my, my camera and, uh, and and causing all that shake. That could be it. So, man, this bike is it's it's something else. I really like what Harley did with it. The you know the frame mounted fairing, the overall looks of it, just the whole package for under twenty three thousand. 
and of course ABS cruise control man I could say this stuff over and over again if you guys been you know a fan of the channel you guys already know that the lowrider s is by far the best bang for your buck you know power to weight ratio 117 inverted forks dual disc brakes the monoshock everything about the the, the fx lrst man I'm, I'm a huge fan i just it just needs it just needs solid bars but man this bike is it's perfect i'm you know i'm a huge fan of it and uh if you know if i could do it all over again and and get myself a, a lowrider st i would but uh i'm not uh i'm not doing that again as far as uh over here over here as far as you know refinancing it and uh and doing all that stuff <laughs> 